Hi everyone, uh, latest cool support. So today is February the 2nd and uh, it's glorious, nice and sunny, a bit more like it. Didn't get any lottery numbers, unfortunately. It ain't quite 25 degrees, but um, it is a bit of improvement what it has been to be fair. So um, can't really moan to be fair. So uh, shoot the latest cool support and we go through our normal stuff, I'll let you know what's going on, mainly with winter works and things like that. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. And, um, touch on the weather for January. We had about 68 mil, which is not ridiculous, but the ground's obviously sodden from a wet November and December. So um, anything really is, is just topping it up. But um, hopefully moving forward to February, things will start improving. Um, there's definitely a bit of strength in the sun now, which is obviously which obviously helps. I think the weather forecast for next week is cold, uh, a bit of frost and that, so it's not too bad as long as we don't get any of the wet stuff. So 68 mil for January, not too bad. A few puddles on the course, you know the usual spots. A bit of surface water on the normal holes again, seven, ten. Um, but on the whole, it ain't too bad at the minute. It's definitely improving every day. So I'm going to run through the subjects like i say it's mainly winter works that's sort of this time of year uh, and then obviously any questions at the end we can deal with in our normal way all right then uh so on the green section of the report this month um they've been pretty good actually to be fair the last few weeks uh when we had all that cold weather and the frost not only is it a lottery to play golf um it's also very difficult to do anything and um we was having extreme rain followed by extreme cold uh, the greens were soft then they'd freeze, um, all them footprints. And then obviously, you know, the top the top little bit would defrost during the day. It was, it was becoming difficult to actually get a good roll on the greens. Um, but because they've warmed up a little bit, we've been able to get out and do a few bits. Uh, the greens are really forming quite well. And um, we had a lot of good feedback over the last couple of weeks of how nice the greens actually are rolling. So that's quite pleasing. Uh, but at the end of the day, all the time there's no frost about, we can do stuff with them. Um, as soon as the frost comes in, we're stuck. We can't do nothing. So um, all the time the cold weather stays away, the greens are actually going to perform. Um, but we're standing on the sixth green at the minute. Um, we're out cutting this morning. Um, most days we're rolling to try and keep a decent putting surface. Um, but speed-wise, they're sort of average. They're not super fast, but they're, um, they're rolling nice. And that's, that's the most important thing. A true green is better than a fast green. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's difficult this time of year. Obviously, spray windows are, are limited with the wind and the rain and the cold. Um, so it's difficult for us to get out any feed out, any wetting agent out. But again, the last couple of weeks we've managed to do that and I'm pleased to report the greens are really quite good. So the surfaces are clean, there's no disease um, and they're performing really well. So I'm really quite pleased with the greens at the minute. So to give you a quick update on the new eighth hole, I see I'm standing on the green. Um, this is now down to six mil. Um, greens, bear in mind the greens cut five mil, so we're all back there now. Um, so over the next sort of couple of weeks, we'll uh, we'll get this down to to a sort of required height, um, and then we're obviously looking to open this sort of early April time. So green wise, it's it's pretty good. It will take a while to settle down. Um, when we uh, when we open it, yeah, new greens always do. Um, but I'm quite pleased with how this greens turned out and and how it's all going. The surrounds of the new eighth, however, slightly different. Obviously, you've probably all seen the puddles on it. There's one there, look. There's another one there. It is sodden all around here. Now this has been wasteland for a long time. So obviously, yeah, it's all new. Um, so it's all been seeded, and you can probably just see areas we have cut. And areas we haven't cut uh, purely down to the, the, the surface what we're sitting there so this is proving a bit of an issue at the minute so next week monday the fifth i believe um might be the sixth we've got machine coming in and we're going to put drains all in there um, to try and help it drain out a little bit um so areas like this here can all sort of you know the water can get away um but this is all sort of unused ground so it, it's you know we didn't know really know what we was going to get here but it's, it's yeah it's wet it's holding water so we need to get rid of it um so the green nice and dry 
surrounds nice and wet so there's still a bit of work to do on eight uh, and then hopefully we're going to get all this down to a fair way height um, still got sort of bunkers out there's one at the front here one at the back obviously uh, weeds in them at the minute we sort them out but uh, the plan is to get this open for early april so um, because of the winter league and the format of that competition we couldn't open it before anyway uh, so this is what we're um, this is what we're aiming towards now. So we're hoping early April we'll be playing off of this, and not that one. So another big project that was planned for this year was the construction of the new ninth tees. Um, so I'll run you through what we've done here. Um, so we put a new path in, obviously off the new the new eighth. You'll come around here and you'll you'll go on the new path. As you'll see, the stakes are on the outside this time. Um, so if I just walk down the new path, obviously it's still, it's not finished yet, it's getting there but it's not quite finished obviously. Um, so we've got a new addition on this hole, we've got a black tee, uh, which is only 15 yards longer, but visually a bit more daunting. Um, so this is the black tee though, I won't be used that often, uh, a couple of major events and mainly scratch golf. This is a new path all the way down the right hand side now. And obviously we've got the white tee, all nice and turfed. Um, literally this week's been turfed, so it's not settled in yet. Uh, new path, obviously topping needs to go in there. And then, obviously the boys are still turfing this, we'll be finish this off today hopefully, but a uh, new path being constructed in, so it cuts in between the two. And it'll go down the left hand side of the yellow tee. So, new tee box for nine, it's going to be good. Uh, three separate ones rather than a long one, all them roots have been broken out, we've removed a couple of trees. Uh, it's causing us a maintenance, massive maintenance issue this hole. And um, obviously our little uh, temporary tee down the front, which is awful, but serving a purpose at the minute, and hopefully get us through to sort of early April. We plan on opening this hole um, the same day we open the new eight. So, a little bit of work to do up on the ditch uh, near the tree, which I'll run you through next. So I mentioned to you when I was showing you the ninth tees that we've got a bit of work to do on the ditch. Now, this has gone down a bit, and over in previous years it gets really bad down here, but there's a ditch that runs, obviously you all know this, but there's a ditch that runs up the side of the ninth, fifth tees, uh, then it then runs under the fifth tees, uh, out behind the fourth green, under the first fairway bunker, round the back of the 16th green, into the 16th ditch, which is now a pond. Uh, and because of what we're doing at the minute, we're, we're blocking the water in. Um, hence why those sort of areas are still quite wet and sodden and can't drain away. And we're getting this. Now, this has never been able to get out down this end. It's never actually fed out to the ditch. So, obviously we've still got work to do on 16 in terms of the overflow, but we also need to put an overflow down this end. So what we're proposing to do is to dig a ditch from here, an overflow ditch, it won't be deep, but it will be open. Um, but to dig a ditch from here, down across where you hit over on 9, we'll see we'll have to put a little bridge in, and we're going to join it up with the ditch that's behind the old eighth green it won't be very wide it won't be very deep and it's purely going to be for when the wet weather comes and the water can get out of this area instead of the banks bursting and flooding all around the ninth tees fifth tees etc so we do visualize this being dry in the summer uh, but in the winter it can act as an overflow and uh, water can get into here and then obviously down seven and out on the main ditch on 30. so that's going to be happening in the next couple of weeks. Um, yeah, and it's purely for drainage reasons, really. And but just so you know that when we start digging a ditch from those trees to here, you know why. Okay.